Satellite imaging in the veggie band of short wavelength infrared is powerful and amazing. The value of these images is increased, however, when we can also view and compare the same geographic areas from a much closer vantage point. This video shares images in the veggie band taken from the altitude of aircraft in the 100 to 13,000 meter altitude range. Most images here are split screen, showing near infrared images side by side visible light images taken at the same time. Comparing reflection and absorption of different ground objects at various wavelengths is fascinating. Objects often look quite different in their brightness. Bodies of water, vegetation, bare soil, roadways, buildings, and other human-built structures can be compared. The veggie band brings out information and contrast that is missed when viewing in visible light alone. This subject has great relevance when considering the energy balance of the Earth, which humans have been altering in many ways. We can compare the reflection and absorption of sunlight at various wavelengths, remembering that half of all sunlight is invisible to our human eyes. In this video, a focus is on lakes and ponds. The location is Houston, Texas. Houston is a city with a relatively high concentration of lakes and ponds. Pools for water and drainage have been crafted to lay side-by-side -side roadways, buildings, and vegetation. Flooding is a major concern in Houston, a problem increased as climates are changing worldwide. Here, we can view the same lake from different angles. Most interestingly, at different angles relative to the incoming incident sunlight and its reflection off of the water surface. This complements and enhances the information obtained from satellites in geosynchronous orbit, each which see the Earth from a single vantage point. The location within Houston of the objects seen in these images is indicated in two ways. One, within this video, where a letter key is placed on Google Map Images. And two, in the written description below the video. The descriptions use the same letter key, describing the location by the nearest intersection of large roadways. You can look up these same lakes and ponds using Google Maps, whether in satellite view or street view. However, Google Maps only images invisible light. This series of education videos allows you to view territory in both near-infrared and visible light. Students are now creating for this YouTube channel similar split-screen videos, but taken at ground level. The students are studying the many ways humans have been altering the balance between incoming solar energy and outgoing energy from the Earth's surface and atmosphere. They are very much involved in worldwide efforts to protect our planet's climate. We stand to learn the most when we integrate veggie band infrared images taken from the ground and the air as a bridge to data from satellites in orbit. We are very grateful to the teams at NOAA and NASA who have made these incredible GOES satellite infrared images available. 